Hello, 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 it's Inester, and I am here with my second Wi-Fi battle on this channel, and I got myself a really nice one against my friend Dan over here, so let's take a quick look on what's going on in this little battle over yonder. So as you can see that I still have the same team as last time, and before I I have to explain myself, I was all, this was also right after training Garchomp and I think Sylveon right up. So some of the move, one of the moves I forgot to put back on Garchomp was Earthquake. So that's gonna play a significant role in this battle, but thankfully it didn't come up too important. But as you can see from his team, it's obviously a nice old school rain team because unfortunately that's going to make things hard for me because I no longer have, I do not have Earthquake to counter that Fairthorn. So let's hop in right now. So Dan is issuing a battle and he starts off with his Manectric, his probably Mega Evolution. I start off with my Jolteon because I knew nothing could... I guess not. Uh, nothing's immune to his my Volt Switch, so I automatically go for the Volt Switch as he Mega Evolves. I'm pretty in fear of him doing, I think, an Overheat. I decide to switch out to my Garchomp, I believe. I think. I might have gone to my Sylveon, but I'm pretty sure I went to my Garchomp because I thought that he would take it a little bit better since he is immune. But as you guys can see from this overheat, it does way too much considering I am immune and I'm I have some I have some HP EVs too, so I'm surprised it even did that much. So he switches out his Manectric in fear of the earthquake, and I predict that him him going to the Gyarados. So I go straight for the Stone Edge, but unfortunately the Intimidate g goes off, and I Mega Evolve also, and unfortunately because of that Intimidate, I. Do not, I am not able to take out that Gyarados right away, so that's going to cause major problems in the future. So now that I do not have a stupid Earthquake, I knew the Ferrothorn was coming in, so I was like, what is the best move I can do here? <laughs> so I went for the Dragon Claw, hoping he doesn't have the Rocky Helmet. And unfortunately, he only had, or fortunately, he only has Iron Barb, so that didn't hurt too much in recoil wise so I automatically switch out I think I go to Aegis Slash to take in the most likely I was thinking he'd go for Power Whip but he went for Gyro Ball so that that was even better for me because you know that did a crit and <laughs> that was less than 30 HP so thinking that so now that he goes out to his Politoed making it rain I'm once again a special attacking Aegis Slash I'm like okay I'll just hit it as hard as I can with my Shadow Ball, and as you guys can probably tell that this Politoed is most likely a nice defensive one, because that barely did anything. That barely did 40, stupid Politoed. So now, in fear of the Scald, I'm going to switch out to my Sylveon, and I knew that Sylveon probably would take it a lot nicer than Aegislash could ever. So there's the Scald, and that did... And about 30% after leftovers and I'm like okay I can probably take on one more so I'm gonna go for the light screen to help my team take on this thing a little bit better but unfortunately he gets the burn I'm like oh facepalm I'm I'm gonna have to sack this Sylveon now because burn damage does a lot more than leftovers which I just realized from this battle because it's after left left before leftovers I had 88 and now I have 75 so I'm like oh god this is gonna be annoying for me so I knew that I had to attack with because I had nothing else I could do no I switch out hmm that's interesting so I switch out to my Jolteon thinking it would take it could do a Thunderbolt and kill that stupid Politoed, but he switches his switches in his King Dress. So I'm like, okay, I can probably do something. He can, might go for the Draco, so I switch out my Sylveon. But thankfully, he doesn't go for. Unfortunately, he doesn't go for this. Ah, the Draco, but he goes for the Hydro Pump, which misses. Thankfully for me, and I'm pretty sure I probably could have taken it. Probably could have taken it. Probably not because of that stupid burn. So now I'm thinking that this scared. I thought. No, I knew I had to attack now because the Kingdra was, I was like, worst case scenario, Ferrothorn comes out and absorbs the hit like a champ. But for some reason, he brought out his Gyarados. So I'm like, okay, 
And the moon blast was just enough to kill him, so I'm like, I'm just like, in with my hand in a fist, I'm like, yeah, let's do this. But the burn is starting to rack up on me, I le have less than 50 HP, and this guy sends out his Ferrothorn. So I'm like, last time we went for a Gyro Ball, I think that Skarmory can probably take this a little bit better than my Aegis Slash now. So I sent out my Skarmory, but for some reason he goes for Bulldoze, which was, he he went for the prediction of me switching in my Aegis Slash, because that's what I did last time. So now that I know that Ferrothorn can't do anything for me against me, I know I'm going to set up a layer of spikes to, you know, make this a little bit more, make, make the defeating of his other Pokemon a little bit nicer and now that his Gyarados I know it'll affect all his Pokemon because Gyarados is gone so I go for the Protects wanting to see what this Manectric wanted to do looks like he wanted to go for an Overheat so now I'm like okay who wants to take an Overheat I'm like Sylveon you're pretty much dead I'll let you drop this special attack by two and that's exactly what happens unfortunately Sylveon was killed and I really would have preferred to keep Sylveon alive, but I didn't want to have to risk Garchomp getting burned like in the last game. <laughs> so here comes Garchomp. I'm like, okay, odds are he might go into his Politoed. So I predict that, go for the Dragon Rush. I'm like, I'm making the predictions this time. I'm like, thanks for the drizzle because now Toxicroak, my Toxicroak will, hopefully I can put in the Toxic, I'm like, Toxicroak can benefit from this now. So here's your Dragon Rush and farewell, Politoed. I'm pretty sure this thing has the Damp Rock, I believe. I think that's what he told me after the battle. So I'm like, okay, Kingdra, what do you want to do now? So I think I go for the Protect, and that's why I don't have Earthquake. And that, I just showed him my entire moveset right there. So he goes for the Surf. I'm like, I might be able to live one. And it's going, it's going, it's going, and I'm dead. So I'm like, well, crap, I completely underestimated that Kingdra, or I overestimated my my Garchomp special defense. So I'm like, okay, time to pull out Jolteon and break out the Hidden Power Dragon. I was too lazy to actually go HP breeding, or Hidden Power breeding, so I'm like, eh, I'll give him HP Dragon, because that's what he came with, because that's a really nice HP to have, because, you know, HP Dragon and getting an attack that's super effective against dragon is always good. So I switch out to my Skarmory because I knew that probably Dragon Pulse would be coming. But after this attack, I completely forgot that this thing can carry Thunderbolt or Thunder. So being the dumbass I am, I stayed in hoping to set up another layer of, layer of spikes. But as you guys can see, that Thunder will never miss in the rain. And I'm like, oh crap. Once that thunder was placed, I was like, oh, how did I forget that? So now this Gujar essentially has full HP, and I'm like, oh, God, what do I do against it now? So I pull out Toxicroak, I, and I set up the substitute, trying to scout out what this thing wanted to do. And he wanted to do the Dragon Pulse, because I think it would would have done more damage than the thunder, if my calculations are correct. I'm not sure, I'm not... I don't know the base attack of... or base attack... The base attack of base power, base power of Dragon Pulse. So there goes that substitute, and I only lost 11 HP, which was pretty useful. So now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to attack this thing somehow. So I go straight for the poison jab, hoping to do at least 50, but that barely did 50, if that. So this thing goes for Dragon Pulse. I'm like, please, Toxicroak, please live, and he lives with 33. I'm like, thank you, but unfortunately the rain stops. I'm like, oh god. Oh god, so I'm for, I'm like, I'm here, it's like, Ferrothorn has to be coming in, Ferrothorn has to come in, be coming in, but I, no, I have to go for the poison jab, because if this fair if this Gujar stays in, there's no way Brick Break will take it out, so I'm like, and there's the Ferrothorn, I'm like, ah, uh, if, oh, if I predicted that, I would have been so set, but unfortunately that didn't work out for me, and I'm like, ah, oh, no, what am I supposed to do? So I switch out into my Aegis Slash, I believe, but he predicts that perfectly and goes straight for the Bulldoze, and I'm like, well now I'm super slow, and I'm like, okay, if he goes for the Bulldoze one more time, I might be able to live this, but no, I go for the King Shield, hope, but I didn't know that Bulldoze isn't a direct move physical attack, so I was like, it'll make a minus two for him and I'll be able to live. 
But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So I'm like, okay, I'll go straight for the Shadow Ball and try to hurt it as much as I can. And that barely did anything. I was like, ah, oh, nah, there goes my Aegis Slash for nothing. By Aegis Slash, the Bulldoze is definitely going to kill me because I'm in Blade form and it did like 60% when I was in Shield form. I'm like, oh, God. So now I send out my Toxic Croak. I'm like, okay, I might be able to kill this with a Brick Break. And watch out, Karate Chop! And it kills it. I'm like, yes! But I forgot I had Iron Bobs. I'm like, no! No! Toxic Croak, don't die on me! So I'm like, okay, I barely have any HP left. I'm going to have to hit whatever I can very hard. But he sends out his Manectric. I'm like, I had no idea how fast this thing was. So I'm here just pulling up the Bulbapedia, trying to see how base speed of this Manectric. Turns out it was a lot faster than my Toxic Croak. I'm like, okay, I'll go for... A sucker punch before this thing kills me. But he goes for the volt switch. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. How did I forget that th this thing does electric, does electric type moves? For God's sake, that's it. its main typing. It's electric. And I could have saved my Toxicroak, which would have made taking out this, taking this Gudra on a lot easier. Because right now I only have my special attacking Jolteon. I'm like, no, Jolteon, please be my hero. So I'm like, okay, Shadow Ball or HP Dragon. I'm like, HP Dragon will do more, and this Gudra has a lot more special defense in HP than that Manectric. So I'm like, okay. And that barely did anything. I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to lose. I'm hoping I take this a lot better. But I, he gets the crit. He gets the crit. And I'm like, no, I'm going to lose now. I'm going to lose. So I go right back for HP power. I'm like, please get a crit. Please get a crit. Please get a crit. And I get it. I get it get the crit I'm like hacks are hacks so now I'm like okay my neck trick might be right I see the my neck trick I'm like damn that looks pretty far out of the range that I want it for him so I'm like okay I know I'm gonna be faster I'm just gonna hope that HP this hidden power will be enough so I'm hoping I see this see it going down going down and it finishes it off so I'm like yes 2-0 overall in my Wi-Fi battles I'm like Wow, but then again, the people I'm going against aren't pros. So if I went against anyone who is a lot more competent, I would definitely have a hard time winning. Because both my games against these opponents who I know aren't too well went down to one my last Pokemon. So that was the unfortunate thing for me. So now I'm hoping to build a new team. I do have one more match with this team that I want to show you guys to show that I'm not the best around. But hey, I'm learning. I'm learning. I think I'm having a better time learning than I thought I would. But this has been Inester, and I'll see you guys in the next Wi-Fi bed. Constantly changing. And I'm like, okay, I might as well go for it all. So. Fortunately for him, he over predicts. No, yeah, he over predicts things that I'll go for the King Shield. But I don't. I go straight for the Shadow Ball, and that cleanly kills him. Not sure if this Aegis Slash is running max 